the whip, I'm equipped with a bar. We've got a chance now for our starting lineups. From point guard to center, this game should be a good one. It'll be the storm off the tip. Now here is Lloyd. She's covered by Mitchell. Picked by Lloyd. Let's go with a three. And it's Ryan Howard with the rebound. Even without that three ball dropping for her, the defense should have done way more on that last one. Yeah, I mean, the D's got to be better as a coach. You can't stand seeing her having that much space to get her shot off. Oh, Gumake outside. For three. Her first shot is a miss. So for one to start the contest. Inside, Brown. Sweet little floater. That's some good awareness from Howard right there. She is excellent at getting the ball to her open teammates. Outside Lloyd, pass to Magbegor. Oh! And there's the whistle. Foul hard on the shot, and we'll go to the line. Well, you allow someone to get to the rim like that, and really that's your only option for the steal. Yeah, free throws are always better than a layup. I would agree with that. Yeah, it's her first trip to the line. The first free throw is good. Drafted in 2020 out of Australia, Ezzy Magbegor had quite the rookie season. Well, she was just 20 at the time, helping Seattle to the Wubble title. And with each year in the league, Magbegor's really Magbegor. made strides, okay. turning into one of the top shot blockers in the W. You look at someone like Ezzy Magbegor, a modern big, length defensively, can hit jumpers, just so talented. Brown. Misamon pulls it in. Credit the D there. Got in her face, got her hands up, made sure she was not comfortable on the release. Yes, yeah, very tight on her. Didn't allow her the space she needed to get a good shot off. I, I just love that effort. And here's Clarendon, guarded by Diggins Smith. Here's Smith. That's good, and it's Asia Clarendon with the assist. With a naturally quick release, Smith is an effective option in catch-and-shoot situations. Now about two minutes gone by in the first quarter. Diggins Smith, no good. Pushing it up. Here's Mitchell. And she drops in the layup off the glass. What control from Mitchell there. Even with the contact, she stays with it. Have to admire that kind of effort. Ogumake outside. Screen by Magbegor to the inside. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Give an assist there, uh, not for a pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed her up and really just made that layup possible. Clarendon, no good. She had all the space she needed, but just could not find the bottom of the bucket. Pass to Magbegor. Screen by Magbegor. Outside, Diggins Smith. Six to shoot. The three. Can't get it to go. She's taken two and missed two. Smith outside. The basket, her second of two attempts. An intimidating interior presence. Smith uses her toughness to get her way down low. Outside Lloyd, shoots the three. It's good, the assist that time from Skylar Diggins Smith. And that ties it up. Well, this is always an interesting time of the season. For some teams, it's now or never if they're going to make a playoff push. Well, it's true. I mean, teams are in a lot of different modes right now. A few teams, you know, they already have their sights on the playoffs. But like Blake said, for others, this is do or die time. If a postseason run is not in the cards, it might be time to switch the focus and get ready for next year. You know, as her career has unfolded, Lloyd has become a much more consistent three-point shooter. It's become a huge strength of hers. Ogumake with the ball, and it's Howard picking her up. Misamon outside. Lloyd. Here's Diggins Smith, and 
good work on the boards, and they pick up the second chance points. Heads up play by the point guard, Diggin Smith, scooping up the board and getting some second chance points. pressure that Smith puts on opponents when Melissa gets the ball down low it is so tough to stop her she's getting her first free throw attempts of the night first free throw is good doesn't get the second a walking double-double. 6'4", -double. and Alyssa Smith is an impact player, has a major effect on games. To the middle. Good for the basket, starting off one for one with that shot. Here's Mitchell. Down low. Shot's good by Smith. It makes it so easy for your teammate when you can lead her to the rim with a pass like that. Pass to Hawkins. Vivians. Covered by McCautry, picked by Hawkins. Vivians, out to Lloyd. Second chance shot, and the Storm tack on two more. Nice awareness there by Mac McGore, finding her open teammate for the bucket. And here is Mitchell. Shoots over Diggin Smith. Mitchell, shot's good. That's how to orchestrate for your teammate. Terrific pass. And they have a chance to go two for one here. Let's see how they play the clock. Picked by Lloyd. Pass to Diggin Smith. Launches it. Gets a three-pointer to fall. They're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five buckets are from three-point range. The defense, they have to close out quicker. Now here's Brown. Here's Howard. Godfrey up top. Howard. Here's Brown. That's good, and it's Ryan Howard with the assist. They continue to get it inside. The defense struggling to just contain them. And look, when you make five in a row from in tight like they have, it also just takes pressure off of your perimeter, guys. Great point. He gets it up. Unable to get that one to go. And they're scoring pretty well as we conclude the first quarter. It's the storm of five. Quarter number two coming up right after this break. Don't go anywhere. second quarter beginning in just a moment and before we move on what do you guys think about what we've seen from the storm really putting in the work on the offensive glass they've set the tone here early with the hustle now here's Clarendon she hasn't yet put up any points in this one and Mon Premier gets it to go. Some defensive breakdowns happening now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. And giving up these high percentage shot attempts, it's not going to get it done. They need to figure it out. Now here's Vivian. <gasps> Count that one. Victoria. A section Vivian. of her game she has really worked on. Neca sees the floor well, sets others up. And with Neko Ogumike, she is always a threat to post a double-double. Yeah, she can really score it. And she hits the glass with a fury. She's also an excellent passer, giving her a complete game. Not pretty. Got to just uh, shake off a miss like that. 
Right side, Vivians. They double her with Smith. And Minjiatu gets it to go. I like the playmaking from Vivians. That's something your coaches want to see more out of her. And we play just over a minute of basketball in the second quarter. Smith outside. Pass to Walker Kimbrough. And here's Mom Premier. Smith with it. Picked up by Hawkins. And the call will be against Vivians. That is her first foul of the game. And the Storm making a change here. Substitution on the court. Second call. The ball goes to Seattle. Here's Whitcomb. Quiet so far offensively, searching for her first points of the game. They grab their own miss. Outside Vivians. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Outside Clarendon. Shoots over Whitcomb. Clarendon, no good. She kind of short armed that shot after doing a nice job of getting open. Outside Whitcomb. There's the triple. And it's McCautry with the rebound. It's rare to see her come up empty on such a wide open look. Back to Clarendon. Pass to McCautry. And it's off from three-point range. Seattle leading. Here's Whitcomb. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. Well, with how well Whitcomb shoots it from three, and these mid-range, they're kind of like gimme for They gotta be like layups. Now here's Smith. Here's McCautry. Good, and the assist goes to Melissa Smith. Check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates on the same page. Outside Whitcomb, pass to Vivians. From about 10 feet out, tries again, and it's good on the lay-in. They are really getting the work done inside with their rebounding, Tim. They haven't allowed many second chances. It's been one and done for the most part, and that's helped them build this lead. Both teams deciding to change it up. They trail by nine points. It's Tiffany Mitchell on the wing. Back to Clarendon. Shoots over Diggin Smith. Clarendon, no good. That's one she knows she should have drained. Lloyd with it. Eight points for her. Hawkins a screen. Back to Lloyd for three. Sinks the three-pointer. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic, and it's a big part of why they've been able to get good looks. Absolutely, the defense unable to react quickly enough to, to deal with their passing. Count it. A player who can get creative offensively. Let's just say Smith knows what to do inside. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. Here's Keanu Hawkins, plenty of space. Here's Ogumake. That one falls, her second basket of the game. She is now two for three. She was the first one to react to that miss. I mean, that's just a hustle play on the putback. Here's Howard. Connects on the 17-footer. Tough distance, but you know what? Howard can hit it with ease. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Time called here, the Storm decide to talk it over. And when you ask her peers, Neko Ogumike might be one of the most respected players around the league. A longtime president of the Players Union, Neka has done wonders for the game as a player and representative. Ogumike's legacy will be about you know, what she did on the floor, but also a lot about what she did off the floor for this game. in by Smith. Al Howard. Pass to Mitchell. 
Smith. Misa uncovering, and down it goes. Two points. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Every pass is with purpose, and their last 10 points have come off of assists. Great team basketball on display right now. Not quite enough defense that time around. Lucky she was off. I just hope that was a mistake by the Deeds, because if that's how they plan to guard her, they're going to have serious problems. Back to Howard. Clarendon. Off target from three-point range. Pass to Diggins Smith. Misamon covered by Smith. Now Lloyd. Three-pointer. And she's good on the three ball. And that makes it two three-pointers in each quarter for her so far. Now here's Howard. Tight defense on her. Back to Mitchell. Storm with the rebound. Right side, Lloyd. Yes, and it's Skylar Diggins-Smith with the assist that time. She has shot the ball exceptionally well as they've built this lead for themselves. Smith, Misam uncovering. Here's Howard. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Misamun. Vivians. Picked by Misamun. Vivians misses. Well, they're in the lead, but, but she's still been frustrated offensively. Now here's Smith. And here's Ryan Howard from the arc. The three-pointer is on target. They've got to watch out for Howard on those corner threes because she will live in that spot all game long if they let her. And the first half now in the books. Storm out in front. They're up by 10. And we'll be back with you shortly. And the second half about to start in just a few moments. And you know, Jewel Lloyd has been really making it happen, guys. Well, the threes have been falling for her at an incredible rate. That first half, absolutely ridiculous. And here in the second, she's got to just keep taking them and keep making them. There is no reason for her to stop. All right, the second half beginning in a moment. And here's Smith. To the middle. Out to the left wing. Boots over Misamon. Smith, no good. With the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be. And that's firmly in the driver's seat. Rebounding, it's an effort stack. Now, they've been the more determined team to this point. Another bucket in the paint. That's just something they have not been able to stop today. And if they want to win this game, they got to figure out how to stop it. You know, Brian, I think it's time to switch things up on D. What they've got going on right now is not getting it done. If Mitchell gets to the rim, she's usually going to convert. She's such a skilled finisher. Boy, from long range. Got it. Number seven on the night, seven for 11 from the floor. Can they make some sort of defensive adjustment? Because guess what? She is killing them from three-point range. And even when they have closed out on her, she's still knocking them down. I mean, this is just an unbelievable performance we're seeing right now. 
Oh, some quick uh, retaliation right there, huh, guys? Yeah, sure didn't take them long to go and get those three points back. Here's Magbegor. Yes, and it's Skyler Diggins-Smith with the assist that time. Up and in on every one of their first three shots to start this second half. After missing the 2019 season due to childbirth, Skyler Diggins-Smith has come back better than ever. A couple of first-team All-WNBA selections for Skyler, really stepping up her shooting, especially from beyond the arc, arguably the best point guard in the game. Four of their last five makes came off a high-quality shot inside. And that's right out of the textbook. They are having their way down low right now. One item that stood out is their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it's tough to defend. It's stolen by Neko Gumake. Four on three on the break. A nice shot by Magrador. Well, she's been reliable Neko. again today. They need her points, and she's providing them. Now here's Clarendon, guarded by Diggins Smith. Pass to Howard. Over Ogumake, and the basket by Howard. I love Howard's decision-making offensively, especially off the catch right there. Now here's Diggins Smith, Clarendon covering. Here's Magbegor, and fouled hard that time, and she'll get two shots at the line. First two She shot two free throws in the game, made one, missed one. First one falls for her. Both good at the line. Pass to Smith. Mitchell drops in the tray. And when Mitchell's threes are falling, she's nearly unguardable. There's just so much you have to account for. Now a timeout called by Seattle. Here's Diggin Smith. Five points in the game. Pass to Magbegor. Screen by Magbegor. Lloyd with it. A nice shot by Magbegor. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. I mean, there's more holes in their defense than in a block of Swiss cheese. Man, you just made me hungry, but, but that's right. Five of the last six makes were in tight. They've established themselves inside. And where's the cheese? You know, she shot the ball well, but it hasn't been contagious. Misamon outside. Pass to Diggins Smith. From the yard. Brown grabs the board. Well, she's definitely a threat to beat, but it just hasn't been going for her tonight. She might want to avoid that shot for a while. There was just enough defensive pressure to get her off balance. Misa on outside. Outside Lloyd. There's Magbegor. That falls. Is nice speed nice. that time from Jewel Lloyd. She has been unconscious this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Out to the right wing. Pass to McCautry. Smith. Misa uncovering. Smith, no good. The D was ready for her that time, and they had to be. She is strong in the paint. Here's Misa To the paint. Goes up with it. And Lloyd with a nice bucket inside. Whatever the team needs from Lloyd, it feels like she's right there to provide it. Tonight, it's been her scoring. Here's 
Howard. She has seven. Smith, Hawkins covering. Outside Howard. No good there. Nice D from Jewel Roy. Hawkins outside. Outside digging Smith. Back to Hawkins. And they pick up two. This has been a great job of getting into the middle of that defense and scoring from the paint. You know, really, that's why they're on this run. You get that, that close to the hoop, and it's a lot easier to drop shots in. Lloyd with it. Now guarded by McCautry. Finished off the brakes. They're passing the ball very crisply right now. Their last three buckets have come by way of an assist. McCautry outside. Inside. Here's Howard. Yes, and it's Angel McCautry picking up the assist. They're not being as aggressive from the three-point line anymore. And they had a lot more attempts in the first half. Ogumake outside. Outside, Diggin Smith. And the storm, another three. Their three-point shooting really since halftime has been about as good as you could ask for. And now's the time for them to step on the gas pedal. You know, put your blinker on, get into the fast lane, and keep firing those deep balls and build that lead up. Watch the speed limit, though. Good work there as it goes. And that bucket adds to what's been a big differential and points in the paint between these two squads. Yeah, they're really attacking the middle offensively. It's been quite the contrast. Shots good by Smith. An imaginative playmaker who plays inspired basketball. Smith cannot be stopped right now. And there's the foul. It's on Leisha Clarendon. That's her first foul. Into the lineup for your home team. Number 32, Chatori Walker Kilbro. On the wing, Jewel Lloyd. One second left. He got it up in time, but it could fall for us. At the end of the third quarter, a huge lead, and this one may already have been decided. Storm out in front, running away with it. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And thanks again for joining us. We'll see what happens in the fourth. And there's the three second violation. Smith. And here's Sutton. Walker Kimbrough, covered by Lloyd. And the basket by Walker Kimbrough. Their three point percentage has taken a big leap up since uh, the start of the second half. Their snipers are starting to do their thing, and that's really going to be the ticket for them the rest of the way. Now here's Miesman. Outside Lloyd. The shot. No can do. Misses for the sixth time in 15 shots from the floor. From past the arc, Storm with the rebound. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. Pass to Diggins Smith. Lloyd. Now here's Hawkins. Covered by McCautry. Oh! And that yeah. one's good. Hawkins. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking that rim, Brian. That's right. It's been all good at one end. And let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other. 
triples keep on falling, guys. Three in a row now. These defenders can't stay so soft on the perimeter. Seattle calls timeout. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Hawkins outside. Misamon guarded by Howard. Back to Hawkins. Pass to Lloyd. This one for three. Hits it from three-point range. She got loose from three-point range in the first half and showing signs here in the second. Back to Smith. That's in, coming off an assist from Ryan Howard. Nice move by Melissa Smith inside, getting herself the high percentage look. And the Storm with possession. They have a 19-point lead to the wing, right side. Misa on outside. Whitcomb. Five on the clock. Pass to Lloyd. Shoots over Walker Kimbrough. Another shot, and that's two points Sion on the layup. Hawkins. Their rebounding has been off the chart today, guys, and that's the number one reason why this game is out of hand right now. Exactly. Their lead is not surprising, given their advantage on the glass. Now here is McCautry. Walker Kimbrough with it. Quigley bangs home the trifecta. Well, they're getting their points now almost exclusively from three-point range for the last five makes from beyond the arc. And the defense practically giving them those shots. And they'll take them. Lloyd with it. Covered by Walker oh. Kimbrough. And a foul called on the shot. Got her on the way up that time, so she'll shoot two. And what you like about Jewel Lloyd, she's very unselfish, but can also take over with her scoring. She really understands what the team needs from her. And that can change night to night or even moment to moment. But no matter what happens, she's able to feel out the situation and deliver. She hits both from the stripe. Really arriving on the international stage, Lloyd was part of the 2018 national team, helping the team win the world championships in Spain. Now here's Mitchell. They'd seen enough scoring in the paint and wanted to send a message to their team. Lock things up inside. Yeah, you're right, Tim. I guarantee you this talk centers around cutting down on all those points coming against them in the paint. And maybe it's more help, it's the front of player, they've got to try something. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Back to Howard. Shot clock at five. Mitchell, guarded by Diggins Smith, fires from the line. Mitchell, shot's good. Nice, smooth jumper by Mitchell from mid-range. She can attack from almost anywhere on the court. Misamon outside. Screen by Misamon. Pass to Diggins Smith. Back to Agumake. Diggins Smith. That's in for her fifth make of the night. Now shooting at a 50% clip, five for 10. Smith outside. Howard covered by Lloyd. Mitchell outside. McCautry back to Mitchell. On the wing, Ryan Howard. Pass to McCautry. Tries it from 19. Yep. That one goes. Tremendous vision from Mitchell to spot the wide open teammate. That kind of unselfishness is contagious. Here's Diggins Smith. To the inside. Lisa Mun. Home team foul. Tiffany Mitchell. First personal foul, teams first. Second team foul. At the line for the storm. Emma Misama. And the first one at the line is good. Oh, man. Talk about incredible focus. 
Misamun's one of the best free throw shooters for her position. She hits one and then misses the second attempt from the line. Kicks it out to Mitchell. Pass to McCautry. That's in there. Tiffany Mitchell with the assist. Too easy for McCautry off the pass. A, a tremendous score, especially with the clean look and rhythm. Misam on outside. Vivian's up top. Back to Misamon. Puts up a three. Mitchell grabs the board. Pass to McCautry. Here's Smith. Storm with the rebound. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. To the paint. Tough call there, and it's a tough break for the team. But I don't have a problem with the call, Tim. She looked like she was still sliding in there. At the line for the score. Dulce, Fontam, and Giannou. That free throw, no good. The Storm making a switch here. Good on the second free throw. Now Sutton. And the whistle blows on a backboard violation. Went over and back. Storm substitution. Number two, Kiama Williams. Now here's Whitcomb. Covered by Walker Kimbrough. Outside Williams. Back to Whitcomb. In close. It's hauled in by Smith. Quigley with it. On the wing, Angel McCautry. Over Vivians. That one doesn't drop. And so Seattle takes this one by a big margin. And this crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. Boy, I mean, for us too, it was shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. Never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the type of win they had tonight. So that's going to do it for this one, folks.